Alright, so how much... Oh god, I might as well... Okay, hold on, we're, look, we're looking at this again. I need to level up, I need... Or the, to get the last level of Survivor, I need 200,000 XP. And I'm pretty sure if I just turn in all the drops, it'll work out that way. Hey! Corrine, you're dealing with Rise, aren't you? You're the one who volunteered. Guilty as charged. Something I can do for you? I believe I can provide some context. You may find it useful. You may not. Okay, lay it on me. I did not witness this firsthand, so take it as hearsay if you want. But it involves his brother, Hassan. I know about Hassan. He died, right? And Rice blames the GRE? He is right to. Hassan was confined to a wheelchair. Oh. He was the only person in the world Rice cared about. Hassan acted as a tempering influence on his brother. Where Rise wanted to go to war, Hassan convinced him to seek peace. And when the outbreak happened, Rise demanded that the GRE evacuate Hassan first and foremost. And they didn't. There was political infighting. Because of the ministry, the GRE dragged their feet. And Hassan died in a zombie attack. The GRE could have removed him from harm's way immediately. They elected not to. And now Rise has lost his moral compass, free to inflict his brand of sadistic lunacy on the populace of Haran. So Rice's beef with the GRE, you're saying he's justified? I do not excuse him. He's a vicious gangster. A blight on this city. I merely wanted to help you understand the enemy you will surely face. Understood. Thanks. Huh. So Dr. Camden isn't the guy in the wheelchair. That was Rice's brother. I mean, we knew about Hassan, but I didn't know that, you know... We didn't know what his brother looked like, we just knew what Rice looked like. It's... Interesting. Okay. Although... Yeah, I have to put a little blame on his, uh, not Hassan, but... Rice. You have, like... All this military power under your control. And you couldn't keep your brother, like, safe inside one of the compounds. He has tons of outposts. All he had to do is, like, set up, like, 15 guys with guns, and boom, your brother's safe. At least you could have done that. I'm Buckshot, Towers Guard. You're making quite a name for yourself out there. Thanks. What can I do for you? I'm instructing guard recruits in biter combat techniques. As you know, most people aren't accustomed to dealing with adversaries who have no sense of personal safety. The learning curve can be costly. So, I was hoping I could convince you to give a demonstration. I'll record it all on camera, and then use it for training runners, guards, scouts, anyone who wants to stay safe out there. It will be a big help, and it could really save some lives. Is, is that something you'd be up for? Yeah! Yeah! As long as I don't get shot up by a bunch of righteous men. You know, and you weren't trying to collude with Rice to get me killed. Huh? Jerk. I like the idea. Let's see what I can do. Alright, kill 40 infected with a special weapon within a given time. He wants me to do it with a bat. Okay. At least this is our chance to use a brute, a brute force weapon. That didn't get what I wanted. Where'd he go? Fucking. What? <laughs> I'm so very confused as to what just happened. It's like he flew upwards and then just died. Come on! Home run! Ow, ow, god, it didn't even give me a chance to escape that one. Nor that one. Yo, that's mean. Alright. I actually am slightly worried whether or not I'm gonna get these 40 kills. I mean, all I have is this little baseball bat. What am I gonna do with it? I can't even use my grab like hook to fling myself at the enemies. Oh boy. I was actually slightly worried. I didn't know if that was gonna be like an entire group of runners. Oh, come on! I hate bombers. I hate that they can instant kill you. It's so annoying. Ukraine, that's not really what I was looking for. You shut your mouth. We need people to survive out there. Maybe you should go home and get some rest or something. Look. I like the idea. Let's see what I can do. A suicide zombie being in the middle of the group. That was good footage. It shows you that anything can happen. 
if you don't pay attention to the composition of your enemies. So really, what I got was fantastic. You son of a goddamn fucking bombers! It's also a good lesson that the world is cruel and unfortunate. And there's many goddamn terrors in the darkness. Ah. Fucking bombers. I can't even do anything to them. <laughs> Without, like, a ranged weapon. Okay. Fuck you. It'll blow itself up. Probably kill the entire group. God fucking damn it. Unbelievable. Gotta kill 35 more zombies and just hope to God there's no boomers or bombers in front of all of them. Now we're gonna throw a firecracker to track the zombies a little bit towards one area, which will make things a little bit easier for me. I'm keeping an eye out this time for fucking bombers. I can do this! Five more kills, 20 seconds to do it! I am the man! Home run! Stuff anywhere else. Outstanding, Crane. I've got all I need. That was perfect. Now Thank you. Got me you. Thinking. Maybe we should do this again sometime. Try some different scenarios. Thanks again, Crane. I'll see you around. You're welcome, buddy. Now I'm gonna go talk to a psycho and practice my slamming zombies into other things skill. Uh, let's see. So quest-wise, what do we have left? We have a couple of missions that I don't really care too much about. Like, oh, find the herbs, find the herbs. All those are going to give me are uh, money, very minor amounts of money, very minor amount of survivor points. Ooh, but while we're here, <sighs> speaking of survivor points. Oh, man. This means we can survive for the next couple of days at least. Thank you so much. Couple of days? Dude, that's at least like 15 goddamn packs. Huh. <sighs> okay. So that actually did not get us to the maximum level. Very close, though. So all I have to do is do a couple more challenges. Maybe do the other quarantine zone if that one's more drop focused. We'll see. I want to finish up. I do want to finish everything in the slums. As much as everyone's gonna be like, ah, oh, God, what challenges the fuck are you doing, man? God damn, challenges are side stories and made missions. What are you doing? I'm like, well, it's content. It's part of the game. <laughs> But do it on your own time. This is my own time, friend. It really is. Hello, Jeffrey. You're also gonna make me do things on my own time, aren't you? Hey, my old challenge, amigo. Have I got something fun for you? Uh, what now? Competitive decapitations? No. Although it's not a bad idea. But no, no. Instead of cutting off hands, I'm breaking legs. You can hear the bones crunch up real good if you do it just right. Christ on a crush, one of us is gonna need some serious therapy. <laughs> uh, okay, so you're giving me a bat to do this? Okay. I wanna hear crunching zombie bones in my dreams. So I already do, friend. I already do. Okay. Two minutes to break 40 legs. This is gonna be interesting. Eh. Eh. I feel silly doing this. I'm just crouched up, trying to break their legs. I feel like I'm attacking a kid in a fucking wheelchair, man. Eh. This is gonna be hard. Oh my god. Oh, what? I pressed E on her head to finish her off and just- nope. Alright, this isn't- at least- I, okay, 25. It said 40. I was about to say, if I really have to break 40, this is gonna be a lot of bullshit. Damn it, stop making me stand up! There we go! Holy shit! My fucking center flying! Astronaut zombie! Away! Use the dynamic power of Crane's legs! I'm capable of handling everything in this world! 
Honestly, I do have pretty awesome legs, don't I? Bow! God, this feels cruel! I feel bad about it! I was walking up to zombies while they're laying on the ground and shattering everything they have. The most irritating thing about this one is the fact that if zombies go to bite me, it makes me stand back up. It makes me stop attacking them outright. Fuck off! Oh my god! People are gonna call me El Jefe, the zombie leg breaker. Has a nice ring to it, don't you think? People are gonna call me Crane, the Jeffrey fucking smacker. Huh. <sighs> Okay, so what happened on that last one, and it happened again, so the biggest problem with this challenge is that zombies, when they go to bite you, you stand back up, and even if they don't get the hit off on you, it makes you stand oh, up. I hear crunching zombie bones in my dreams. And so I headshotted them rather than breaking their fucking legs because of an unfortunate combine of game mechanics. Ah, oh, yeah. Fucking, come on! Stop it! Stop fucking making me stand up! I don't want to break your face! I want to break your legs! Both your legs, preferably! Fuck, and I can't do it if you're making me go to your face and smack you with my damn bat. Just gonna leave you there on the ground, friend. <sighs> Stop fucking, I'm just trying to get the fuck off me. Okay, stomping his face in. Thanks for wasting my time, Crane. Now we have a goddamn spitter on this fucking bridge. You know what? Alright. Fuck it. We're just gonna... Use the firecrackers to keep the zombies distracted so they don't sit there constantly being like, Hey! Please! <laughs> please let me bite your face! Oh, for fuck's sake. Honestly, sometimes it's just a series of really unfortunate events. It's like, all I want to do is break shitloads of legs, and I can't fucking do it. Because zombies are all trying to bite me and shit. And then there's a boomer, which blows up all the zombies. I don't like listening to you. Shut up, Jeffrey. I hate you. I hate everything you fucking stand for. I hate you for making me have to point out how annoying it is to be forced to do certain types of attacks. Ugh, I'm gonna hear crunching zombie bones in my dreams. He's... He's everything wrong with trying to fight the zombies in this game. Wanna talk, chop, chop off all of their arms? Well, good luck! You can't directionally aim your attacks! As well as you want to. Wanna smack up the legs? Too bad! They can grab you. And ruin everything. I'm just... Stop! Fucking... Alright, I'm gonna beat your goddamn face in. Fuck you, you stupid fucking zombies! Sorry. I had a vent a little bit there. Because I... It's like, it's one thing for me to just be grabbed like I'm standing there like a moron. It's another thing for me to be charging up a power attack, let go of the fucking button to do the power attack, and in mid-swing, be forced into a fucking bite. At least it's a challenge. And if by challenge... ...we mean really random factors hopefully working out to an advantage. And not fucking having it work out to our advantage most of the time. 
Yeah, here's your face, because you wanted me to grab your face. Come on, man, I just need eight more fucking legs. <laughs> Why are there so little fucking zombies in this place when I need them? I'm not going after the zombies on the ground because we've seen that every time I try to fucking do it, it doesn't work out to our favor. It's like one zombie per- or one leg per zombie, that's what we've found out. Alright, I'm jump cutting. El Jefe, the zombie leg breaker. Has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Yes! Yes! Only three more legs! Three more legs to destroy! Oh, thank God! Hey, thanks for the cash. I hope I never see you again. Uh, of course I'm gonna have to see you again, Jeffrey. I hate you, Jeffrey. I hate everything that you've made me do. If there's anything this challenge made me realize, it's just how much of an asshole you are. Oh, God. That took me a while. That, that was like at least five more failures in between the jump cut. What I realized, eventually, was that if I was gonna get the challenge complete, I needed to find like the really big groups of zombies and only focus on them. Rather than find the small ones, find the small ones, find the small ones, it just didn't work out. Let me buy some firecrackers, because he really goddamn used up a lot of them. Um, I'm gonna need... We're just gonna just fucking buy like... 50... Not 100, don't need it filling up my inventory to like an extensive amount, but 50 is okay. Oh, Lord. All right. Let's go do the killing guide, I guess. Oh, there you are, Buckshot. Crane, think you might be ready for another combat demonstration? Obviously, close quarters is the wrong place to be with biters, so I want my recruits to start working with ranged weapons. You any good with throwing blades? I can manage the basics. The basics is exactly what I'm trying to teach. Okay, fantastic. Then let's start. Whoa, that's fast traveling. <laughs> uh, how do I do it? Where where do I go to start your mission, friend? Do I just look at there we go. Ready when you are. Kill thirty infected with throwing stars within a given time. That should be a lot more pleasant than uh anything else. You shurikens. I thought we were gonna Oh okay. You figured they'd give me some shurikens, but fine, I guess I'll make my own. Because it won't let me otherwise. Throwing stars. We'll use normal throwing stars. Since we never really had the chance. Alright. I just made flammable liquid by accident. God damn it. Alright. Throwing star! That didn't kill him. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> Shurikens are really not effective, holy shit. At least not as, uh, not as effective as I want them to be. Give me a moment while I slaughter the shit out of this guy. Fuck you, buddy. Okay. So if I want to really do some massive damage with these shurikens, I'm gonna need to make... Amazing ones. Oh, I have infinite! Okay, alright, alright. I thought I was using them. Whoops. Then never mind. Just spam them away. Don't worry, everybody! You might not know how to use a shuriken, but as long as you have an infinite amount of supply, it doesn't matter! Just throw them at every enemy along the way, and eventually it will kill them very dead. That is the lesson to take from this. You don't need to aim! Aiming is for wusses! Although you probably should point in the general direction. I'm trying to do, like, the lock-on thing, where I lock on to multiple targets, and it doesn't seem to want to work out. Like, it's supposed to, like, I mouse over all the people and then they die, but it's not doing it, so... Fuck it! Spam away! Kapow! You're welcome, Buckshot. I know. I'm pretty wow. awesome. That's your basics. 
I don't know if that was... I don't know if that was making fun of me, or if that was complimenting me. Wow, that's your basics? If that was a... Oh wow, holy shit, you're awesome with throwing knives. Thank you. Because I hate these things. They're just not that useful to me. Maybe I reduce the damage for them as well. You'd figure that two times damage throwing stars would be pretty awesome, but it wasn't. See, there's the fucking lock on shit. And that makes it not as bad. Because then suddenly, instead of going, oh shit! Can I throwing star the- there we go. I just went to throwing star the barrel. Anyways, instead of going, I need to aim every individual shot, I can be like, spin around the group, lock onto the entire set of zombies, and boom, I win. I think I'm probably going to be like running back and forth between Jeffrey and Buckshot until I run them out. And then we're done with the slums! Oh wait, not. I also have like collecting missions. Right, let me throw these throwing stars away. I'm sorry you had to feel pain for a few seconds there, zombie. The vomiting and everything. Alright, Jeffrey, what do you got me doing now? Decapitations would be fantastic, let me tell you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hola, El Jefe. I took your advice. Let's go for heads now. It'll be fun. Awesome, right? Right? Fine. You don't have to say the words. I could just tell from the look on your face. Yes. Yes, I'll pay you for each head. Good. There you go. Now we got something more fun. Yeah, I'm going to hell. <laughs> Cut off 30 infected heads within the given time. I can do that. All right. First off, fuck off. I just really, really, really hate smitters. See, now this one isn't so bad, because generally I'm always aiming for the head anyways when I'm aiming at their upper torso. And if they grab me, that's okay, because I'm already facing up and standing. So it's fantastic. It's fun, amazing! Everything works out when I get to cut off the heads! Yes! Alright, let's take a little bit of a breather. <sighs> okay, now back to slicing heads. Maybe the developers realized how unfun it was to try aiming for, like, legs and arms and stuff. And so they're like, alright, go for the heads. That'll be your reward, the fun! Kill everything, amazingly reward. Done. And they're all right. Pay up. Jeffrey, do you still have shit for me to do in the future? Oh my god. All right, did I level up yet? Nope, I still have 10,000 XP to go. Okay, and what about the other dude? Buckshot? Buckshot? Do you have a challenge for me? The best runner. Ultimate weapon. Wow! Oh no, we're done with Buckshot! Huh! That makes me kinda sad. <laughs> okay, then I guess we'll do... Uh, we'll just go ahead and collect some things around the map! Like these lavender herbs. Well, here we go. Found the lavender! Will there be lots of it? I don't know. We have three out of six already. So that's pretty nice. <laughs> what do we got in here? Ooh, a blueprint! Puke and nuke! Oh, the hell's that one gonna be? It's probably green. Oh, it's actually not. It's a purple! Wow! Toxic and burning! Ooh! That would have been cool to have earlier, huh? <laughs> too bad, it's too little, too late! Although I guess that's my own fault. See, if I had gone here for the Lavender mission before, that's what I would have gotten. But I said, no! That's a super fetch quest. That won't even give me that much reward. Well... <laughs> it would have given me a good enough reward back then! Although by the time I started getting short swords and I actually started wanting to use them, I already had the orange blueprint, so maybe not. You know, there are tons and tons and tons of blueprints 
that I've missed out on and tons of Easter eggs that I haven't touched yet. Maybe I'll touch a couple of them. And again, as I said, I'm not much of a collectible hunter. Unless those collectibles give me, like, something super, super amazing. And the ones I've seen, not so much. Like, there's an airstrike in the game. If I head back to the antenna. And it, like, it just shoots one missile down on a group of zombies. And I'm like, yeah! That's not that interesting to me. <laughs> if it was, like, an actual airstrike. Where, like, you sent in... Uh, some jets flew overhead and then it bombed an entire area for a bit. That would be cool. That would be worth crafting, but... Otherwise, no, not really. Especially since I think that one uses... I saw the blueprint for and how much it uses. It uses, like, ten electronics. Uh, I don't know if I want to use ten electronics for a single missile strike. Might as well just be throwing bombs at them, you know? There we go! We've got our lavender herbs. And now, I can make my way back over to Jeffrey and promptly... Kill everything over and over and over what? again. But well, first, I'm gonna swim around this area, maybe, to see if there's something useful. Because I mean, look at it. We've never been up here, and the only thing you're, that you're gonna put here is lavender herbs. You got me suspicious, devs. You got me suspicious. Hello, Jeffrey! What do you got for me? Dude, dude, listen. It's a pity I didn't come up with this earlier. It's literally the best idea I've ever had. You ready for it? Cutting in half. Huh? Huh? Oh god, my life has gone so far off the rails. Oh, come on, <laughs> you can't tell me you don't love it. I don't believe that for a second. Let's just get on with it. Alright, I can try my best. Great, just what I wanted. To get covered head to foot in zombie blood. Yeah, but we already do that anyways. Cut 30 infected in half, which means I need to do some whirlwind spins! Constant amounts of whirlwind spins! Come on, everyone get together now! It's gonna be a big old party! Everyone's invited! Wow! That was so disappointing. To only split one person in half out of that group. There you go, that's more like it. Woo! I don't even need windmill attacks, really. It's just beneficial sometimes. Alright. I need another batch of zombies. It looks like this one's fine. Come on, everyone towards me! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Alright, just need ten more zombie kills. Just need ten more zombie cut and half kills. It's kind of hard, because... Two-handed weapons are unbearably slow. But maybe I can do it! Come on! Ugh, fuck me. You're kidding me. <laughs> so you're too weak to pull it off, huh? Maybe you should do some push-ups or something. Yo, it's not a matter about being weak or not, it's just a matter of how many zombies are in one area as I slaughter, like, 15 of them at the same time. Hey, just what I wanted, to get covered head to foot in zombie blood. <sighs> you know, it's actually kind of funny. Maybe windmilling should kind of combine with camouflage, right? That'd be kind of cool if I could do that. So, like, I can just combine skills. Rather than having to cover myself in the blood of my enemies after I've killed them, what about during it? You know? Alright. We're just gonna do this. Power it up, and... Oh my god! Wonderful! Did you see that jump? That number just jump. That was not such an amazing one. Two. Two. That should have been at least like four. 
Maybe five. I'm just saying. You dick! Oh, I can't even. That just really came out of nowhere and made me mad. I'm like, I'm winding up for a power attack, and then nope, grabbed. All right, what give me the money, jerk. and this time I mean it. I don't want to see you again, ever. You know what I just realized? This town's only big enough for one master zombie killer, and that master zombie killer is me. Yeah, we'll see about that, Jeffrey. Here, I'll use a new technique. Well, not really new, but a technique I was just using. Wow! Where'd he go? Uh, Jeffrey's body's gone. It's like he never existed. Maybe. Maybe it's all been in my head. And I've been killing zombies for fun! And not because some crazy dude was telling me to kill them for his own demented purposes! Or he just disappeared because of the glitch. I don't know. What the fuck, though? Okay, so! Uh, now that we've got that one out of the way... What else do I need to do in this area? I need to get... Uh... I need to search the town for lighter gas. I have no idea what that means. Will it point it out to me somewhere? Ah, really? I've only got one lighter gas. What in the- Okay. A word from Gas Master Afra. You are all- You all need my precious gas to run your stupid stoves. Well, my butane supplies are running out. Without my gas, you're gonna be eating a lot of cold soup and whatever else you can't make without heat. I didn't say that right, but you know what I mean. If you like your stoves to heat things, then you'd better turn over any butane you find to- To Togar. You will be paid something. Search the town for lighter gas. I, and then bandages and meds? Do I not have that? Three syringes, three painkillers? I need to like Google these because I have no idea where I'm supposed to be finding these ones. Right? Like I have tons and tons of materials, but apparently just not enough for everything else. Ready to give up. I have 69 bandages, and they're just like, nope. Can't do anything. Hey, we leveled up. We did it. We have reached level 25. As a survivor. And I actually, I reached level, I, I leveled up my power level as well. So we can get the last power level. You can become, become the best fighter in the quarantine. You can fight without getting tired. So now we have infinite stamina. Kaboosh. And then, I can get Ultimate Survivor. You gain 25 additional health points, 100% shield damage, cooldown on the hook is reduced by 50%, camouflage duration is increased by 30 seconds. Oh my lord, this is such a big buff! I am the Ultimate Survivor! I'm amazing, I can survive anything! <laughs> Except for love. Cause I don't love- I don't love anyone in this goddamn zone, honestly. <laughs> Everyone I- I slightly care about is dead. I like Zara, he's gone. Jade was slightly okay, he's gone. Raheem was alright as well, he's gone. Honestly. <laughs> the only one that we have left is like, Brecken. Troy's cool, but we still don't know much about her, she's just been very recent. Alright, so what do we want? You know, it would have been- I, it would have been nice to have this leg breaker ability earlier. It might have helped me out a little bit. <laughs> Rather than me getting frustrated, trying to beat things up with a bat. Oh lord. Okay, so... I might use this one. Just because sometimes it does get really annoying when they try to grab me and then they just immediately smack me. Like, no. You get stunned, fight, buddy. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Okay. I was trying to- I wanted to get her to grab me, but she's a runner, and runners don't do that. So, anyways, let me, uh, find out where all these mission things are. Who's that guy? Is that a zombie? That is a zombie. Okay. 
He just looked weird standing on a rooftop next to a box. Like he was gonna offer me something. Alright. Let me look up that mission real quick. <laughs> 